we're back, Scott and Lori, off the starboard hull. We've got one more trip to do here in La Paz, and it's a good one for us because it's Mary and John, Lori's parents. We take them out onto Espiritu Santo and for a couple of days, and we show them the sights of La Paz and a few other towns around, and we had a spectacular time. What a great couple they were to have on board, and they're welcome back anytime. <laughs> hey, our mom and dad have arrived. They're sweet. I'll be outside here. We're all here. <laughs> Back at the boat, and my mom and dad have just come into the boat, and we're in a Mandarin orange kick. There's Scott leading the pack. Yeah, I'm over here. <laughs> it's too dark. Hello okay. there. Yeah, there's my mom and dad in very bright colors. That's good. <laughs> so everybody got comfortable on Muskoka and then I had some guys come in and install some air conditioning. So while the air conditioning was being installed, Lori and her parents headed off to Todo Santo for a little visit with a cute little town. Mom and I and Dad walking down the dock. <laughs> We're going on a day trip to Todo Santos. And uh, Scott's unfortunately having to stay behind. Um, hopefully the refrigeration guys will come soon and they'll get that done today. We have a um, crew on board right now installing air conditioning. Uh, I was kind of uh, leaning against air conditioning the whole time and I've been convinced by people that have spent summers down here that uh, it's pretty unbearable and uh, so I'm putting in half of what I really, what the factory would put in, but uh, our bedroom will be air conditioned, which is great. And Hector from, that's Hector there. Say hi, Hector. Hola. Hola. Good morning. They're installing air conditioning in the boat. And it's going right in there. Hola. So the air conditioning got installed. It all works beautiful. That's the actual temperature inside. And under here is the pump and strainer. And then I've got a wonderful vent right there, which blows cold air to the unmade bed and they did a wonderful job in here this is a mixing box that they built and the vent comes into here there's another big box behind here that distributes the cold air to this box and to the vent up here which is on an s2 is uh, by my helm station and that cools the salon and uh, the unit is underneath there and that's the return air and it all works really well I had a few uh, startup problems with it um, which I didn't realize until after I got away from La Paz rectified it um, not a big deal, but uh, yeah, it works and uh, it's nice and cool in here. in Todo Santos. <laughs> Walking in Todo Santos. A little bit of a peek of a view of the ocean. Looks like everybody's having fun in Todo Santos. Hope they are. But let's get sailing. We want to take them up the island and show them some stuff in the ocean. And we were able to do that for three or four days. And I think everybody had a good time. 
Lori and I did, and I'm pretty sure John and Mary did as well. We sailed and motored all the way up to the end of the island of Partida. We got into a beautiful anchorage called Grande. As you can see, it was really, really smooth, no wind, and we had a wonderful night and ended up hiking the next day with friends of ours from the boat. What the hell is their boat? Abbey Normal. How did I forget that? <laughs> I guess we have another. Evidently, we have plenty of water, too. Yeah. Ah, good. And a uh, backpack, just in case we just have to spend the night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So this is Brad and Gay from Abbey Normal. Again. Hi. And there's, there's my mom and dad. We can't shake those guys. <laughs> Mary and John. And me. Clear that water is. Woo yeah. Yeah. Let's go swimming. <laughs> go for it. There's a way down right here. Yeah. Yep. So the hike to the other side of the island of Partida, up the Bay of Cardinal, was the hike that we just completed. And this is a view from the other side, which would be the east side of the island, looking out into the Sea of Cortez. Um, that shot is the same shot looking south and what a beautiful place to go. After the hike, we moved the boat over and uh, we went into a little different spot of Grande and uh, this is where we were. We were nestled in a little beach and it was pretty nice. So we ended up moving the boat back to the other side and you can see as the sun went down, things got calm and we had a really, really quiet night. But that was just the calm before the storm because the next day we had some wind. We had no complaints from the crew and uh, we had a pretty nasty night. But that's for another time. We're here at uh, El Grande 3 with my parents and we've just come aboard the San the and there's the dinghy out there, just leaving it, it's a lowering uh, a falling tide, so we can just leave it there. And we found a little stream, and we're all wading through it. Scott is seeming to want to make a dam. Not quite sure why he wants it's to do Hoover. that. Damn it, John. <laughs> what we have here is the failure of Scott's dam and the water rushing through and causing flooding in the area. And it's People downstream, downstream need of to the. Be warned. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. It's going through, narrowing through a very narrow channel. Yeah, it's gushing toward. Look, short gushing towards the ocean. Yes. It's going towards the ocean. 
I think I've been cruising too long. Because this isn't exciting to me. <laughs> Look at it! It's awesome! Hmm. And Sonata Grandi 3. And there's my mama head leading the way. And my dad is behind getting his 20 minutes of sun. Mary and John are a pretty active couple. You can see Mary here whipping through the rocks. But it was time to get back out sailing and head back into the paws. And we look pretty comfortable, I must say. We got a little bit of excitement later on. We had some jumping rays. And uh, yeah, they look good. They were happy. They enjoyed the sailing, which we're glad they did. And then we got this. We're waiting for jumping rays. Now that the camera's out, oh, nothing. There. This one. Oh, over here. So that all took place on the island of Partida and Espiritu Santos, as you've seen before. And then it was back to La Paz, because it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> what are you doing, Mary? What are you doing to our boat? Is there a special holiday today? It's Valentine's Day. Valentine's <laughs> It's Valentine's Day. What do you do with a Lagoon 400 on Valentine's Day? <laughs> Great job, Mary. <laughs> oh, John, there's right. Bill. Oh, there's, there's Bill. <laughs> All the people in Parksville know who Bill is. Oh, yeah. If they don't, they do There's now. Bill. <laughs> Hello. John. You know her. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That's mom. Hello. mom. Hey, hey Sherry. this is Sherry. So this is our visit from Parksville. So we had dinner with these crazy people, and uh, it was really nice to see these guys all the way from Canada to come and visit us. Awesome. Okay, so we found some pangas, and uh, looks like there's some whale sharks there. So this will be my mom's first sighting of a whale shark. I'm just gonna take some pictures and see them, and we're not gonna swim with them or anything like that, but. Uh, it be cool with them to see them because they're such beautiful, big animals and very gentle giants. Okay. So what do you think, Mom? Yeah. It's pretty cool, eh? He's still along with us. Yeah, he's still going along yeah. with us. Let's see the spotted stripe. Yeah. The spots. We saw them before, so we there they have to get a little bit more closer to the surface. Okay, we're heading back to the marina. So Mary 
and John made it back to Ontario and we ended up pulling the boat out the very next day. The next video is on the haul out and after we splashed, uh, we were gone in an hour and started our trip. That was the last of La Paz. We haven't been back since and we've been sailing the Sea of Cortez and oh my God, it's beautiful up here. So stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.